Hello, everyone. Today marks a special day as we congratulate our 10th certified quantum soul guidance practitioner. Yay! Congratulations, Ruth. Thank you. So my name is Ursula, and I'm calling in from California in the United States, and I'm with our wonderful teacher, mentor, and guide, Julia Balaz, who's landing from Ireland. And today we have Ruth Taylor, who's calling in from Devon, England. We have gone global, ladies. Devon is such a beautiful place. I looked up some images, and my goodness, I have to go and visit. Such a gem. It's I had no so idea. So beautiful. Yeah, I, I've only lived here for three years, but I absolutely love it. Wow. One of my other favorite spiritual teachers, Richard Rudd, who teaches the Gene Keys, lives in Devon. Oh. That is like a heart chakra of, of Gaia. So you're you're living in the energy of the heart chakra. And I just love that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Mm. But today is a celebration about you, Ruth. So Julie and I, of course, would love to share with all our listeners your story, like a little bit of your past and how you came upon Julia's teachings. Because when I looked up your beautiful website, I saw that you are into, you have um, diplomas in crystal healing, herbalism, color therapy. I love this one, sports psychology yeah. and you would love to grow food in the future and in addition you're a, a single mom with two beautiful children mm -hmm. so that's a lot to handle but, <laughs> but let's hear about your story how did you um come upon julia's work with this journey of yours i kind of started my spiritual journey probably in my late teens early 20s I'd, I'd grown up in a, a very Christian Christian household. My granddad was a Baptist minister and I, I never really kind of connected with it. And then I started learning about all these different things that people believe in. And suddenly I thought, wow. And it, it kind of it, um, opened, up, opened up so much more to me than I ever thought was possible and that was even back then before I knew anything else and then I started to learn about the Native American teachings and and I really I really resonated with them I, I read this book called Sastoon which is about a lady who starts working with this Mayan healer mm. and it, it just kind of it just like blew my heart chakra open and I thought I have to find out more about this path yeah I started um, looking at all the all the Native American stuff and just kind of really loving the connection to nature and the connection to the seasons and the animals and and all of that and it was just a really beautiful kind of first step for me you know I went to sweat lodges and uh, had an ayahuasca ceremony and did all that sort of stuff and yeah it was just really beautiful and then and then I had um, I had my my daughter and she when I had her I kind of I, I went straight into this you know as I think most people do this parenting kind of that's all that there is in the world <laughs> and uh, and I did that and and I kind of felt like I was starting to lose lose that aspect of myself a little bit that kind of spiritual aspect so I kind of tried to try to go on and I that's when I started to learn about all the different healing modalities and I'd always loved crystals and so I did crystal therapy and in my very early 20s I was a personal trainer so I didn't particularly want to keep doing that but I loved that whole aspect of sports psychology and really kind of delving deep into the mind of, of people especially in that um especially in that area and yeah I just really enjoyed learning so I just kept learning and learning and learning about health and nutrition and things like that and and then when I had my son who is uh, almost three now I I literally my whole being just kind of blew right open I was 
I think that was when I had like my great awakening as we call it and you know also the dark night of the soul and it was quite an intense year after he was born and I started to watch Elena Danan's channel and like right from the beginning when she started it and suddenly all these things that I'd been learning about I'd been learning about the reality of our planet and you know the 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 kind of recent history the real history of our planet and what's been going on and I was learning about all the malevolent ETs and I was like but there must be so much more out there and then I came across Elena Danan and she kind of she really helped me to connect to that aspect of me that just knows about so much more and yeah and then I started to get really into all things ET and you know it's just so fascinating to understand it and then I started to remember myself and that was just like the best and and that's where I saw I saw you Julia I saw you on her first interview with you and the moment I saw it I was just like yeah this is it I I've done lots of things that I've loved but no this is this is exactly what I needed that's brilliant. And I believe that was May last year, May 2021, when you signed that up for the right. first course, the Galactic Astrology 101. Uh, 101. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Because I started with that one and I started with that. And then you kind of you brought out the certification course as I was doing that. And and I saw it and I was just like, yeah, I I didn't know. I didn't know how I was going to do it. I didn't know how I was going to pay for it or even get through it but I just I just thought I have to and it was that kind of divine inspiration that just said no this is this is what you need to do um and I followed it and and it's worked out amazing what a what a beautiful and rich history you know just going to your origin story of your natal family you know you were born into a particular imprint and structure so there's the good and then there was but it didn't seem to feed you enough and so began your journey and i love how you embraced you know motherhood as a way of informing another opening for you as you are already so connected to gaia through the minerals through this idea of the body on earth you know this in the in the mind and how it resonates with earth so so then we move now to um, the question around when you looked at your galactic astrology report using the online calculator for the first time, how did that feel to you? And was there a particular star nation that you totally said, I resonate with this? This is this is remarkable. Yeah, it was interesting because my my chart is very, very heavy on Lyra. <laughs> and that wasn't something I was expecting. I, I'd heard a lot about a very few different star systems. I hadn't really looked into Lyra much, but you know, you hear a lot about the Pleiadians and things like that. And none of that had really, it, it hadn't really got in there. I was like, I love it but oh it doesn't quite feel like me and then I and then I saw this this Lyra connection I've known for so long that I'm a warrior spirit there's been a lot of fighting and all that kind of aspect in my past lives and it was it was one of those things that I I kind of I knew and I didn't know where it came from and I didn't know why I was like why why am I I I kind of had glimpses of so many past lives and there was just fighting so much fighting and I'm such a um I'm so I'm so gentle in this life you know I don't I don't feel any need to fight in this life and so when I saw the Lyra connection I I really started to truly understand and I read about the Lyra and wars and I was like yeah that's absolutely where that started and and then kind of for some reason my soul wanted to just experience all of that and I think that was me experiencing that so that I can come into a life like this and be the peace and understand understand the war but also bring the peace that makes sense 
Yes, totally. When I saw your chart and I saw the many Lyran alignments, I was like, whoa, this is probably the most Lyran alignments I've seen in the charts. So I was really curious how that shows up in your life. And it makes a lot of sense. And uh, they're like, you have conjunct uh, Lyra and Vega and Lyra Nebula and, and all these others as well, Sirius. So really powerful connections and a lot of history, I'm sure, through through soul records. And it's so beautiful to see the gentleness. Um, I have to say with Vega Lyra souls, if there is Vega conjunct, there seems to be this pinkish, pink, gentle, soft energy. And I'm not sure if you've ever connected the soul colors and pink with you at all but uh th this yeah. gentleness that you have uh, i see that as a pink soul uh, layer you definitely seem oh, to have that nice. so it's nice to then see it in conjunction with uh, lyra vega so mm -hmm. it seems that, I, that the yeah how you're helping to really bring ease into those ancient memories that are kind of showing up in your life but with your higher consciousness and that deep desire for peace you're helping to clear that so it's so amazing yeah yeah I feel that especially with the Vega because I think Vega was my kind of origin and um and I don't in Elena's book and she has quite a few um races in in Vega and I really connected to the Osman who were a race that was there before the Lyran Wars you know it's like the most ancient and that just everything about them the picture that she drew she drawn and uh, what was said about them I was just like yeah yeah that that's absolutely it that's such a beautiful validation yet again for me for this galactic astrology so for you I believe it's conjuncting Neptune your Vega connection yes. which is all about the higher mind guidance really the soul guidance and really the most ancient really the origin the beginning so I'm just so pleased so happy to hear you actually experientially feeling a deep connection with it when you saw it through another source in a mm -hmm. book so I'm celebrating yeah right. <laughs> yeah it was lovely <laughs> Ursula anything you wish to add well, I think we'll make sure that we write in the description below for anyone who's not familiar with Elena Danan's book. I think it's called A Gift from the Stars. She has inspired many to begin their looking up into the heavens. There you go. A Gift from the Stars, Alien Races. So we'll make sure that information is put in the description, but also this idea that, um, Ruth, you mentioned, you know, when you're new to the stars, we hear a lot of people talking about, oh, I think I'm Palladian, or you might hear Orion or even Arcturian. But thanks to Julia's class, we get to see that, no, there's actually a wide variety, especially as we start getting to know the stars in the heavens and the narrative and story that might be embedded in our energy field. And so this is the beautiful idea of that quantum soul guidance for you as a, a certified practitioner now to say, you know, it's, it's not just one thing, but it's we're like this beautiful kaleidoscope of energy. And so I wanted to segue then to start talking and asking you about because you're here as a bringer of peace, it'll be interesting to see the clientele that come your way if they are the ones that bring the most trauma drama that want this peace, or if you'll bring forward people who are like you, more like already attuned to peace. So what's your experience been so far as you've been practicing? That's That's been really interesting because... I have noticed with with the ones that I've done so far is that I've I've been really attracting Andromedan energy, which interestingly enough is in my chart a lot. I don't think I've ever incarnated there, but it's in my chart. And I'm also attracting um, the Hyadian energy with almost every single one. There was one or the other or both, which was really interesting. And, and I've loved it because I've been getting to know these these archetypes more and I feel like I'm really kind of yeah just kind of diving deep into these specific ones and the other one as well is um past lives in Lemuria so I have um I have a past life in Lemuria that's really relevant to this life and I've been I've been tapping into it loads and I've been getting souls that have also had previous lives in Lemuria and it's come out in in the sessions that 
but these lives are really relevant right now, right now, these Lemurian lives. And so I've kind of started working on like a little database of what everyone did in their in their lives in Lemuria. And I feel like I feel like a big aspect of my kind of purpose with this is to bring that information through. And I yeah, I just I love it so much. I have a yeah. feeling that kids may have something to do with it. Your your children, I'm not sure how you feel about it, but your kids. Because I, whenever I hear someone who has a mission to start talking about Lemurian lives, their children are involved as well. And uh, there's something about you and your kids that I feel your experience with them will speak to so many of other parents that have children that are also linked to Lemuria and that are bringing something mm -hmm. very important. Do you feel that too, uh, Ursula, and you, Ruth? I love, I literally got goosebumps when you said that I know that one of mine we had a life the life together in the Maria I'm pretty sure both of them to be honest and we're we're also all three of us the soul family we're all from Vega <laughs> you know that's all. that's remarkable yeah you know I, I was just going to add that my goodness for anyone listening that is new to Julia Balaz and this whole idea of quantum soul guidance. When you look at your galactic astrology, putting the story of the stars, the fixed stars into the energetic metaphors and stories of who you are. And then you start looking at family members. I was thinking the same thing that Julia mentioned. So she's teaching us one, how to look and notice who are we attracting Two, how to look at our families of, of you know, birth families and, and see, oh, did we have these past life connections, current life? And then eventually, I hope Julia will start sharing more so about the future lives, because this whole idea of quantum takes us off the linear timeline. So again, I'm, I'm sensitive to someone listening now that is brand new, but when you start looking online at the free calculator, galacticastrochart.com, it's phenomenal to just see like you did, Ruth, oh, my kids and I, you know, Lyra. And so then you start looking up in the heavens, well, where exactly is Lyra and what are the stories of the stars? And so begins the journey of understanding energy as metaphor energy with narratives and does it ring true for you or not so that was just the two little cents I wanted to add I just love you know <laughs> finding these like we leave ourselves breadcrumbs and Ruth is picking them up and, and putting them together so let's segue now to you as a practitioner and and your reading so when you set up your beautiful website and um, if people want to come and get a one-on-one -on -one, um, reading with you I saw that there's reports so I'm going to segue back to you, Ruth. How would you like to see going forward with your practice? At some point in the future, I, I would love to do the Zoom. But obviously right now it's just not, <laughs> it's not, not the right time, which is fine. Um, I do love to do the written reports as well. I found it so much fun. Um, so yeah, I, I, I offer the kind of the three tiers for, for the reports and um, either the basic or then um, I add I add more into middle one, and then the advanced one is just kind of everything that I can <laughs> that I can get that's relevant. I have to say, when I read them, your um, certification submission reports, it was amazing to me how much you were able to squeeze into even the medium with the shorter ones. How much like really valuable information it was just packed there. It was no long winded stories, nothing like that. It was really packed with amazing like huge aha moments information so then when I saw the feedback from your clients as well they shared the same you were able to cover so much in these shorter ones so it's really uh, yeah a gift, um, to get something like that from you well I'd be interested to looking at how you bring color therapy into your soul readings um, Julia mentioned earlier this idea of the pink vibrational color around you with peace but um are you bringing the full um your full background eventually with herbalism crystals and color in addition to the galactic absolutely that is that is kind of one of my missions is to really integrate because i think it's all connected isn't it especially with with the color and the crystals it's like it's it's these different frequencies and and they can all kind of come together as one 
it's just such a beautiful there's such beautiful modalities on their own but to piece it all together and to put it into people's galactic heritage I mean yeah <laughs> that makes me excited and I want to sign up because you know this idea of the earth moving through you in this crystalline kind of colors and galactic so that's a little bit of a flavor that you bring with your background and on Julia's website if you even go under galacticastrochart.com there's a list of all the practitioners so you can access Ruth Taylor's website and information but give us a shout out Ruth to the name of your website in case people want to just go direct because they want to get their soul color they want to understand a little bit more about the beautiful reports that you're bringing um, yeah, it's uh, galacticastrologyreading.co.uk. Great. All right. Well, I think as we go forward, we've got this amazing class that is just growing and growing. And I think our language is now our English, French, Dutch, uh, German. What did we just recently add, Julia? <laughs> as of today, Spanish. As of today, Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> And so Ruth offers reports in English, but the flavor that you bring is this beautiful background of understanding and, and your lyre and Syrian energy. So is there a, um, a comment or a message that you would have, let's say to a new classmate who's joined and there's just so much information, um, but the journey between when you started and now completion, is there a message you'd like to give to our compadres? Yeah, absolutely. For me, the biggest thing was the inner work. And Julia has some amazing modules that go into um, different things to do with the inner work. And that has, that's, that's been the game changer for me. It's been the game changer because I, I, I always had abilities, but I also had this, this deep belief that my abilities weren't good enough and that I couldn't do certain things and honestly going through these and and getting rid of these these belief habits that we have and um, that just don't serve us that made way for all the new information coming in because I was just like no I can do this I can understand it and I did understand it and you know it really it helps so much and getting rid of those those core beliefs that don't serve you and then you kind of come at it with these this new energy and new eyes well you did it really well that clearing reading your reports it felt like channeling and it was so full of wisdom so it's just perfection which channeling usually feels like it is just amazing you know where did this come from <laughs> so super I, well absolutely i i found that when i was writing the reports because i always I was, you know, needed to stay connected um, when I was writing them because I just found that I'd be like typing things that were just coming through and then I'd, I'd read it back. I'd be like, whoa, where did that come? That's amazing. I love it. And I, it, it was just an incredible experience. Wow. Well, again, for anyone new who might be tuning in for the first time, this is not your average class of just teaching the mind about the stories. And Julia actually begins with a, a very comprehensive module on how to set up your own private business. And then as Ruth just mentioned, how to open up your own inner belief systems. But Ruth, before we go, I do want to ask you as a as a mom at home with two kids and now being able to do reports um, and, and setting up a private business, do you have a comment for, let's say someone maybe in the similar situation as you, you know, they're home, we've got sometimes these issues societally with COVID. So is there a comment that you'd like to add for anyone who maybe not isn't in the in the practitioner's course, but might be looking at how do I set up a business that I can do from home in my spare time? Absolutely. That um yeah, because because I, I homeschool my kids as well. So I, I literally we're together 24-7. And um before I did this, I had no idea how I was gonna do anything and get through. But honestly, I think the key is finding something you love. Like this made my heart sing doing it. And it meant that I could, you know, do two, three, four hours of studying each night and then setting up things. 
because because I loved it so much and I think that having something that you can do especially if you're a parent and you want to parent in a certain way and society maybe doesn't quite accept that at the moment which it will do but at the moment it's it's a bit harder and and so find finding something that that you really that you just just makes your heart sing is the key because then everything falls into place and that's what's happened with me I I was like a year ago I felt so stuck and lost and and tired so tired you know I haven't had a full night's sleep in seven years but now <laughs> I'm just like I'm I'm more energized and and I feel like my parenting is improving because because I'm able to do something that I I truly love that you know is me and yeah <laughs> that's we're gonna, we're gonna watch Julia cry <laughs> that's a great advice Ruth absolutely and uh, so many people I'm sure can testify that whenever you follow your excitement follow your passion everything aligns so I wish you many blessed client sessions I believe you will honor your needs and your family's needs and you will set them in a way that doesn't create pressure on everybody but quite the opposite and we teach that in the course as well to make sure that we don't over overwhelm ourselves so it'll be joyful service joyful yeah. expansion for all well done again congratulations congratulations Ruth bringer of peace Taylor <laughs> I like it <laughs> All right, ladies. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. We really appreciate it. And if anyone's interested in checking out the Quantum Soul Guidance Practitioners course, um, you can look at the information below. All right. Much love. Thanks, Bye, Ruth. Bye, Bye Julia. <laughs> much love. Cheerio. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.